Welcome to a new video, everybody. Today I figured I would go ahead and sticker bomb the car, but I want to keep it a secret. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so I wanted to do a bit of a stealth sticker bombing. I figured let's go ahead and put a ton of stickers on the insides of the door frames here so that it can only be seen when the doors are open. Uh, first, we'll go ahead and clean all this up. It's a little bit dirty. Just put some water on there and clean it with some nice microfiber towels and then take a look at our stickers. Now that we've got everything cleaned up, we can go ahead and start attaching our decals. I went ahead and got a couple hundred packs of the vinyl decals off uh, Amazon, just like famous brands, skate brands, some Dragon Ball Z stuff. Uh, it was like eight, nine bucks a pack and just like a hundred in there. So I got like 400 stickers that we can coat this thing with. We're basically going to try and overlap to where we cover up most of the black on the inside, but to where it's in far enough so that we don't see it when the doors are closed. So yeah, let's go ahead and start peeling and sticking these things and get them on there. Alrighty, so far we've gotten this middle column pretty much finished up. This column is pretty much done as well. And then I was able to get this much done of the back so far. We're starting to lose daylight and I'm getting pretty tired of peeling stickers, so we'll go ahead and pick this up tomorrow. <sighs> Alright, so we made a little bit of a boo-boo here. Um, a lot of these stickers that we put onto this side, I wasn't really too worried about it at first, but looking back over the car and what we've done to the other side, I don't like the look because a lot of the stickers that we used over here have like this glossy finish to them and it kind of has like a little, you know, shiny effect to it. And I'd really like to keep it that whole like matte, you know, flat tone. Um, some of them that we used over here have that, but a lot of them were covered up with these glossy ones and I wasn't really too worried about it at first, like I said, but just going back and looking at the other side, we'll go ahead and take a look at that here in a second. Uh, I just wasn't pleased with this side with the, the shiny stuff. So we're gonna start peeling some of this off after we take a look at that other side. Um, I've ordered some more stickers uh, to replace these ones and to help cover up some of the back because it's going to take a lot more than I thought it would. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at that other side then we'll get to peeling this off. Alrighty, and here's a close up of the other side and kind of what I was talking about with the whole matte finish instead of the gloss to it. It doesn't have a shine. It actually kind of more looks like a wrap that's applied to the car uh, instead of just a bunch of stickers put on. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get that other stuff off of there and get our new stickers put on. Alrighty, you guys, and I think we are done. I went ahead and got all that pulled off of that column and redone with some new stickers. Uh, we did run into some more hiccups along the way, so it took a little longer than I expected. Uh, one of the companies that I ordered one of the packs from in the beginning that was making them the you know flat matte color stopped making them that way. So I had to go through and order more packs from different sellers, and of course, you know, they don't really say in the descriptions if they're matte or gloss or this or that. 
Um, so I ended up having to buy maybe like five or six at different times and then send those back. Um, you know, get refunds on them and then try for a different five or six packs. Uh, but all in total, I used, I believe it was 11 packs. Um, there's over 1,050 stickers on the inside of the car that you can't see right now. There's obviously, you know, decals all over the outside that you can see that are intended for that, but there's a thousand, over a thousand and fifty that you can't see at all. Let's go ahead and take a look. And all of our hard work has paid off. This looks incredibly amazing. I'm actually quite pleased with how well it looks being individual stickers instead of a wrap. Here's a quick look at this side too. Now I went ahead and took the little scuff plates at the bottom out. Those just kind of pry up. They're clipped in at the bottom. And I went ahead and did the whole thing because it didn't really look right with that just sitting in the middle and no stickers being there. Just some quick tips if you're planning on doing this to your car. For areas like this where it's kind of got like a weird shape, you want to make sure that you put the decal down on one side and then you just want to kind of roll it over to the contour of the car. Don't just go and try and stick it straight on there because then you'll run into getting all kinds of like bubbles and creases and whatnot. And also, don't be afraid to cut some of these. I took my razor blade and, you know, sliced just a little bit off of some of these so that the stickers would go back in there under this little trim piece. I also went ahead and put a bunch under the hood here in the engine bay. Now I didn't do everything that I was thinking of all of this stuff uh, because actually some of this is going to be getting changed out in some future videos. Uh, keep an eye on that. But yeah, so I went ahead and just did this bit so far. Now that we're done putting all the stickers down, I was thinking of picking up a can of clear coat or like a sealant to put down a weatherproof seal over the top of everything, but I don't think that we're actually going to need that, uh, being that everything is on the insides of the door jams. It's actually rained a few times and I've washed the car a few times and I haven't noticed anything, you know, peeling back up or looking like it's getting ruined. Now, if I do start to notice that, then I will go ahead and find some type of sealant to go over the top of them. But I think we're gonna leave them like this for now thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and check out another video on the channel if you have any questions about these stickers let me know in the comments i'll be leaving a link in the description below for some of these sticker packs if you want to do something like this to your car again thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video and I hope to see you in my next one